Hi y'all! Today I would like to cover one of my favorite trees. This tree grows out, it's by the holly tree that we covered in the earlier video. It's right by the house. This is a beautiful hemlock tree. I'm hemlock tree? What am I saying? A beautiful cypress tree. I'm sorry. So there's a little bit of a backstory there. For a long time I thought this was a hemlock tree, actually. I, I didn't I wasn't aware that it was a cypress. Part of it is that as you can see, this tree has no leaves around. Sometimes cypress trees will have what we call cypress knees at the base of them. They're, scientists actually debate what their purpose is for. Um, some think it's to help the root system to get enough air. Cypress trees like to grow in swamps. This is not a, this is not a particularly swampy area, which is another reason I thought it was a hemlock, although I didn't know any better. But, um, um, they grow these cypress knees when they are growing in swamp in swampy areas, and they kind of they stick up up, up off the ground about so high, um, and they're kind of they look like knees. I don't really know how else to say it. They're just like little, really elongated pyramids or something. It's very strange. But anyway, um, that's one way you can identify a cypress tree. I don't know of any other swampy trees that grow the knee things that stick out of the ground. It's very strange. But anyway, um, so a little about the leaves of this beautiful cypress tree. Um, they are very soft, like so soft if you brush against them. Hemlock ferns, hemlock ferns, what? They look like a fern. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Um, the leaves are kind of, they're very soft, very ferny. Actually, here's one. Um, they don't resist at all when you brush against them. Hemlock can be a little stiff, although not, not pokey, but stiff. These are very, very forgiving. Um, there are not really any noticeable lines on the back of them. There's the center vein. Hemlock needles have two lines of little white, kind of, it's like a little shiny line. I forget, I don't remember the technical term. For, there are two lines of air pores on the back of the leaves. Stomata. Stomata on the leaves. It took me a second to remember that. But anyway, um, your hemlock tree, any kind of hemlock tree, is going to have those two lines on the backs of each individual needle. This one does not. The only thing it has is a teeny tiny center vein on the needle, which is so, it's almost not noticeable. Um, the other thing, hemlock needles are dark green and very shiny. These are more of a light green matte color. They're pretty even in color on both sides. Hemlock needles have dark green shiny tops and then matte pale green bottoms. And these do not. Hemlocks are pretty much the same color all the way. Um, as far as the twigs go, as you can see, the buds actually poke straight out at 90 degree angles. So that's kind of, that's that's kind of fun feature about them. Um, you can see that a little better over here. Um, they poke straight out, literally. The twigs are kind of a nice, the, but, the buds are also kind of pale brown, unlike the rest of this tree, which tends to be reddish. The twigs are a very nice red, they're kind of slender. Um, as you, they're very smooth. As you move further up, they grow more, more kind of flaky, I would say, and a little more brown. Um, they kind of keep doing that as you move from the branches over into the trunk. The trunk, though, although it is brownish, it's a very reddish brown, and the bark's kind of exfoliating, as you can see. It's very soft, though. Um, they can be multiple trunk. In fact, they frequently are. This one That's pretty much all I know about cypress trees. And oh, they do. This is the wrong season for it, but they do actually have cypress cones, which are really kind of funky looking. I wish I had a. I wish this tree had some cones on them so I can show them to y'all, but unfortunately it does not. Um, that's about. That's pretty much all I know about cypress trees. They're really beautiful trees. One of my favorites, actually.